Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo technical developer having experience of 3.5 years. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please click the uh, subscribe button and click the bell icon to get the updates of upcoming videos. In the previous video, we, uh, we have discussed about how to add uh, a field into in Udo model and then uh, add the field on the form view and then on the tree view. We have added three fields, a uh, warranty started and ended and then generation fields. Uh, warranty started and ended are date field and uh, computer generation is a text field, uh, char field. And we also added these fields on the tree view. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, how to add a field in the search view. Like we have already added low price products uh, and use search uh, in the view uh, which is which we added through the debug mode from the front view in this video we are going to uh, add it uh, through our custom module so let's just uh, share one point with you that uh, the screen looks very uh, small so i will just uh, add it to a new window so i can just remove it from here and will add it uh, to a new window uh, so click on this settings uh, icon and then uh, click on the mode and then click on the window so it will just appear uh, as a new window and you will uh, be able to see the full screen to code so let's just guys uh, first find the um, external id of this search view how we can do it first of all we have to uh, turn on the debug mode let's just add uh, question mark debug equal to one and then hash and then enter so this way we can turn on the debug mode once we enter into the debug mode we will be able to see this uh, icon click this and then click edit control panel view so you here you can uh, see all the information related to this search view this is the model of the view and this is the type of the view this uh, these are the different types of view that we can uh, create this is the external id that uh, we will use to inherit this uh, view so we will just add this field uh, uh, inside the tree view from the uh, module for example let me just explain that what we want to do um, top uh, we want to see uh, that uh, low price products for example if uh, we set a range like if a product is a uh, uh, price is less than 5000 then it is a low price product so if we if we just want to just we can click uh, on a single button and we can see the product uh, which have lower price than um, 5000 then we can do it through a search flow let me just find out the uh, uh, external id and then go to the py charm and then go to add-ons and then go to product add-on uh, product and then go to the views and then control uh, shift f and then paste the external id so here you can and there are three searches appear you will just need to open the record id is equal to um, this one because we want to inherit this one so you need to open this one so we can see that these are the different fields that has been added uh, by default what we will do we will just copy uh, this up to uh, this one and then we will add in our uh, custom view so copy and paste it and then uh, add some uh, sign like make it uh, to look it perfectly fine add close this field tag and then close the record tag so we have just added the um, copied the original view and then we need to add the modification we have to change the uh, id od sales we can edit whatever uh, we want to say that od dot sales 
and here uh, just like we have inherited the tree view and the form view we will inherit this search view in same like we have done before field name is equal to inherit id a reference is equal to we will copy uh, the external id along with the product along with the model model module name and close it so we have inherited it now we will uh, use x path 2 to in uh, to uh, add our custom field so let's just uh, see where we want to edit we want to edit uh, uh, like can be purchased before can be purchased field so uh, we have uh, we have to find a unique thing filter to purchase name of this field is a unique and uh, what we will do we will uh, add field name is equal to can be purchased position where we want to add it we want to add before this one and then close so adding a field into a search view is uh, something like filter string is the label you want to show on the view name is the name of the filter uh, you will have to add a unique name for the filter and then domain is whatever domain you want to set i have added, added it already and i will just copy it from here but uh, i will cut it from here so cut it from here and then paste it here this will show the products whose price uh, is less than or equal to, or equal to 50. so we don't need to restart the server because we just added uh, if we just modified some of the xml views we will upgrade the module let's just go to apps and uh, upgrade uh, the module So we got an error message what uh, the error message uh, is saying it is saying that element filter to search does not exist so what uh, we have done wrong we have added uh, here a field uh, which is actually a, a filter so we need to replace the field with a, a filter this one and then uh, upgrade the module so after the module upgrade, uh, we will be able to see the field uh, we have added uh, in the search view. Go to products and then here uh, you will be able to see low price product. So we have already added from the front view. Uh, so let me just remove it from the front view, uh, this one. So let me just remove it and then refresh the page. So here we can see that a low price product uh, has been added uh, like this one. So, but we have uh, just need to remove one more thing, which is uh, this one. So uh, we can see it like this, but uh, this filter is not working right now. But if we remove this one, then it is working correctly. So what we can do, we will add uh, a separator between these two fields. Then uh, in this uh, right now, it is behaving like uh, a sh if we check both of the uh, filters, then it will show the products. if it is soluble either the price is lower than 50 but we will uh, make it like show only those products who, who which are sellable and price is less than or equal to 50 so what we can do for this we will add a separator uh, above this uh, field 
you can just go here and copy a separator and then paste it here and then upgrade the module od says upgrade so go to sales um, products and here you will be able to see this uh, line uh, appearing here which shows that uh, these both of the filter are in the end operation so this is it we have added uh, a field in the search view thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe and uh, Click the bell icon to get the updates of upcoming videos.